Hey guys, today we are going to create a flowchart using Apple Pages. If this is your first time on this channel, please consider subscribing and let's get started. So as you can see here, I'm in the new blank document using Apple Pages. We will create a flowchart by using shapes. So let's add a dedicated shape tool at the top. I click on that. We must keep in mind that the flowchart got a certain shapes that are used to build it. We cannot just use random shapes. So we usually start with a shape with round corners. That can be a square with round corners like this, or even oval or circle. That's usually start. Okay, so we can select a, some, a nice color for it. Let's go with yellow we will need a border color as well so we want to add a border as a line maybe it's a little bit too thick maybe three points will do all right and that's our start in some cases people like to double tap on it and you can even specify the problem within the first block or you can specify the main question that this flowchart should answer or simply type start Okay, as you can see, my text is white. That's not very nice. So let's turn it into black text as well. 14 should do. All right. So that's my first block. We start with round corners. And then there should be a process block. Like step one, two, three. For that, we use a very simple rectangle. In this case, I will keep it simple. So I want to fill it with just white color. Again, we will use border and we can type what is this first step all about. I will just put some sample text in like step one. Again, we don't want a white text, so let's turn it into black text. 14, all right. So that's a nice start, but the question is how can we connect those elements, right? Some of you may think, yeah, there was a, like arrow thing in the shape. If we use this arrow like that, it's, you could say it's all right for a while. Okay, we got some kind of arrow because the flowchart need this flow part. So we need arrows between those elements. So we know where to move from one element to another. The thing is, if you make any changes in this flowchart, you will need to move arrow manually, adjust this every time. So that's not an ideal solution. There's much better way of doing that. So you also may notice there is a special line that we should use to connect different shapes, right? We go there, this line, arrow, and something called connection line. So that sounds good. And we can drag one end to one shape and then another end here. But what's happening is now, instead of like snapping this new line into those shapes, as you can see, the text is moving around like this, try to escape. It's don't wanna be connected together. That's why we need to change some settings here in a range. It's set up to move with text. We need to move it here, stay on page, all right? And this other guy as well, stay on page. Let's try to use this line again. Take a look. Now it's snapping to this shape and then nicely snapping to the next one. If I move this one, the line will follow. I can move it above and the line is still there. So that's a really great feature. All right. So we got this line. You can pull this part here to make it completely straight line. Okay, of course, it's still a line, so we can modify a style of it, even add arrowhead to it. So that's not a problem. We got the line here, and it's automatically follow the shape that is connected to. Nice, we can add a few more elements to our, our chart. So another element got this diamond-like shape. This is block for decisions. All right, so again, let's set up some color for it. Don't forget about the border. We want a line around. 
and in this case you can make it a bit longer so you can fit more text to it like that and this is special block when we type some questions in and stuff like that stuff that we can answer yes or no usually like is it raining yes take umbrella no go without umbrella all right so that's the place where you can type some questions we can set up some kind of some kind of something kind of like two ways for our flowchart to go right way and left way we cannot draw two arrows from normal step one because people will not know where they should go from step one but if you put a question then they can answer the question yes or no and they know which path they should take all right so whatever you need to move two ways you need to use this diamond block with a question all right so you put question there of course we need to connect that so let's use our connection line again snapping here all right and take a look i cannot snap the text is running away from me you already know how to fix that i click on the shape arrangement stay on the page and now it's snapping just right of course again we can modify the style of the arrow to match our needs nice and let's make a test take a look i'm moving those elements around the page but those arrows are adjusting so even though you got a nice flowchart you can add new elements you can move them around change the format change the size of the page and it will be still all right so that's nice we can duplicate this step one so this is step yes this will be step yes then we got step no okay and now we just need to connect them to our decision block so we got two different steps here and the last step of the flow chart will be also the round shape same as the start this will be end cool now i can simply use this special connection line let's drag it here and here another one here and here two more to go all right and then you see this little green icon you can use that to adjust the arrow adjust the line itself you can select multiple lines while holding shift and then you can change the style in just one go be sure the arrow is pointing the right way so the end point should go down this is flow chart is flow from the top to the bottom this one can be maybe rounded okay cool let's take a look we start here step one some kind of question step if yes step if no end of the flow chart all right and the best part is we connect our shapes with this special connecting line so connection line will follow the shape if i move this step around the lines are following this one so it's harder to break it and much easier to modify it later on okay so that's how you can create a flowchart in apple pages i hope this video was helpful and i will see you in the next one bye